Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's been such a long time since I sat down to film. I think it's been about two months or so. Um, all of the videos that I've been putting up, they were all pre-filmed and yeah, this is the first time in two months that I have sat down to film. So this is probably going to be a little bit um, awkward for me because it takes a while for me to get used to the camera again so I might kind of like stumble on my words a little bit but anyway uh, today I'm going to be sharing my September favorites I didn't share my August favorites because like what I was loving during the month of July they kind of just trickled into August and I didn't really change much up during the month of August. I was super busy and I really didn't have time to kind of switch up my routine at all. So that's why I didn't have an August favorites up. Um, but I decided to go ahead and put a September favorites up because I do have a few products that I reached for the most. And one of them being a dry shampoo, which I've already really loved for a long time, but <clears throat> In case you didn't notice, you probably didn't because you can't really tell, but um, I cut my hair and I have been trying to not wash my hair as often as I was. I was kind of washing my hair every other day and um, I'm trying to wash my hair three, two to three times a week. And my hair is not extremely oily, but um, it can get a little bit oily. So like the Batiste dry shampoo, I like it if I'm just going to do like an in-between hair, you know, dirty hair, like second day hair is good. But if I'm going to go longer than that, it just doesn't work too well. Um, I kind of feel like it starts to build up a lot of product in my hair. And yeah, I just don't like it. So the one that I am obsessed with and the one that I've been using so much this month is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. This is the little um, travel size and they do sell obviously a full size. This is a pricier dry shampoo. I mean it's kind of like do you really want to spend $20 on a dry shampoo? And for me um, because I go so long without washing my hair it kind of like you know I'd much rather spend a little bit more money on a dry shampoo that I know is going to really really clean my hair and it smells super super good the only downside is it does leave a little bit of a white cast but it doesn't really bother me what I like to do is in the mornings like when I you know I'm getting ready um, I'll spray it in my hair and then I will go and um, pack my lunch or finish up my makeup or you know get my bag ready for work iron my scrubs I mean whatever just something that takes that doesn't take too long but you know about five minutes or so and I leave it in my hair for about five five minutes or so and then um, I'll come back and then by then usually it's already really soaked in to where I can just kind of massage it through my hair and you really don't see any of the white cast so this has been one of my absolute favorites this month because I cut my hair this month so um, I'm trying not to wash it so often so this has been a product that I reach for a ton lately and I'm almost running out so I really need to buy the full size um, but yeah my hair I cut I cut it about let's see it's been about two weeks maybe and I think I've only shared so if you follow me on snapchat you've probably already seen it I only shared it on snapchat um, I haven't posted any pictures on Instagram yet I haven't posted any pictures on my blog yet I just haven't had time to take cute pictures I guess <laughs> of my hair and yeah this is the first time and it's not even really styled I just kind of ran a hair straight through it today's a super casual day I'm still wearing like my work shirt my work t-shirt it's a Friday I'm in my glasses super super chill like almost you know no makeup but um yeah 
I just, I wanted to sit down and get this done because I have a few other things I need to do today. So I just wanted to get it done. But yeah, that's why I'm like super casual today. Okay, so let's move on to makeup. That's enough hair talk for now. One of the products that I've been loving a lot that I did, um kind of I used it in a video for a first impressions and it's actually a makeup a foundation brush I didn't like using brushes to apply my foundation I prefer my beauty blender like 99% of the time I will reach for my beauty blender when I'm going to apply foundation but this brush is amazing I love it so much more than the Sigma F80, which I have, and to be completely honest with you, I've probably only used it like four times. I do not like it at all, but this brush is amazing. It is super expensive, but it's really, really good. I can't remember exactly how much it is. Um, I did get this through... Um, I don't remember but it was sent to me so um yeah it's like super super good it's really it's not as big like the surface area is not as big as the Sigma F80 but it's it gets the job done it really gets the job done it doesn't shed at all and um it's dirty because I've obviously been using it and if I want you know like super full flawless coverage I will reach for this over my beauty blender because a beauty blender does tend to shear out some foundations not all but for the most part it does um i love this i love the angle to it um it's just it's so sleek and perfect and soft and i just really love this brush i never in a million years thought that i would like a foundation brush over my beauty blender I, I just love it so much. <laughs> so a couple of months ago, I received um, a Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer Sample um, in my Play Box from Sephora. And um, I am a huge fan of the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Primer. I love that stuff. But you guys, I think, no. I know that I like this so much better than the Dr. Brand stuff. This stuff is so, so good. And it's like half the price of the Dr. Brand primers. Um, I really, really like this. And I've had this, I've been using this for a couple of months, a month, over a month for sure. And there's still so much product in here. And this is just a little sample size. Um, I use it right in this area, a little bit on my forehead and on my chin. Um, you know, that's kind of where the areas where my pores are a little bit more noticeable. And this stuff is just amazing. I love it so much more than the Dr. Brandt Pores No More, and it's so much better than the Benefit um, Pore Professional as well. I will definitely be buying a full size of this ASAP because it's so, so good. I can't believe I had not never tried it before. It's so good. I kind of haven't been wearing a whole lot of eyeliner lately. I just feel like it's a step in my routine that takes a little bit okay a lot more time than I need to spend on makeup in the mornings so you know what I've been doing is a super super easy um, no fuss makeup look I will just do literally foundation a concealer a little bit of powder my brows this is my super casual brow easy fill in like I literally just take a little bit you know what I might do a video on it I might do a video on it I'm not even gonna tell you but I only use two products, super simple, super fast, super easy. <laughs> and then a mascara, blush, and usually I'm wearing a lipstick right now, but for the most part, I will do like a super sheer lipstick or a lip gloss. But, um, you know, but sometimes you just need to look a little bit more bright eyed and awake. And um, I've been reaching for this eyeliner to use in my waterline. And this is from ColourPop. This is in the shade. Oh, it's already rubbed off. Honey. I think it's Honey Dude. It's the nude liner. 
pretty sure it's Honey Dude. Um, and it is just such a pretty nude, like nude, I mean you can't see it because it's nude eyeliner. And I like it so much better than the Rimmel, um, I forgot the name of it but it's also their nude liner. I like it so much better because it lasts longer. Um, the Rimmel one just after a couple of hours it was literally gone. And this one lasts such a long time. It's so so creamy and it goes on just super nicely. I really really love this stuff. Not sure if this was um, like limited edition because it came out during the spring. Spring or summer. So if it's still available I will definitely link it down below. It's only like five or six dollars. Super inexpensive, and I love their uh, pencil liners. They are so, so good. Okay, the last product that I have been loving a ton lately is this blush from Japanesque. I got this in an Ipsy bag. I cannot remember which one, but I, I didn't do an unbagging or anything. Um, and it's just such a pretty, pretty blush. When I first saw it in, in my bag, I thought it was a... Um, uh, like an eyeshadow duo or trio or something so I didn't really pay much attention to it I honestly didn't even open it I was like oh it's probably just like some cheap eyeshadows <laughs> I don't know why I thought that I'm just I was just being a brat to be honest and I was kind of putting my stuff up and I decided to look at look into it and it's from Japanesque like I said and it is one of their velvet touch blushes in the shade 2 it looks, I mean, it doesn't look like much in the pan. It really doesn't. Um, but it's so pretty It's on. super creamy. It's not like intensely pigmented, but it gives you that right amount of pigment that you want in a blush. And it's not shimmery at all. It's a, it's also not a full on matte. It's definitely more of a satin finish. And it's just so pretty. It gives such a natural look to the cheeks and I really have been loving it so much. I had never tried anything from Japanesque, I don't think. And I definitely want to look into this brand a little bit more, especially their blushes. Like I said, this is just really, really good. I love it. And it's a pretty decent size for, a, uh, for an Ipsy sample. I mean, most of their stuff... Or like in other boxes you get super teeny tiny samples like where you can't even dip your brush in there. And this one's a pretty decent size so I really really like it. But yes that's it. I would love to know what some of your favorites for the month of September were. I cannot believe we are headed into October. I love October. October is definitely one of my favorite months of the year. Um, it's my birthday month and it's just like literally everything fall starts and yeah I just love October. I love 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 October so much. But yeah thank you guys so much for spending a little bit of your day with me. I really really appreciate it. If there's anything that you would like to watch definitely let me know down below and I would love to film it for you. I have been tagged a few times to do the ride or die tag. I just have not had any time um, to do it. So hopefully this weekend, if not next week, I can get that done and posted. Um, if not, I'm sorry. Um, I just, you know, it's been it's been busy. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for um, sticking with me through this really kind of hectic um, schedule that I have going on. I didn't upload last week because I have so much going on and I haven't missed an upload in a really long time. So I was a little disappointed in myself, but we're going to get back on track hopefully. So yeah, that's it for now, you guys. Thanks again for watching and I will talk anymore. to you guys in the next one. We don't talk oh. anymore. We don't talk anymore like